Hey everybody, it's Jason again, back at you with another exciting video. Today is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. We're just going to talk about some stuff. We're going to talk about um, open frame welder generators. Um, every, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I am absolutely in love with my Vulcan Outlaw 195. It's a great machine. But I've been reading uh, a lot of comments that you've been leaving uh, on the channel about um, what kind of welder generator should I get, how big do I need, uh, what are the features of this and that. Uh, a lot of you are going out on your own or you're wanting to start a little mobile welding service. You're, you're the people that I want to help. Uh, the people that are just getting started, you got a shoestring budget, uh, and you want to get the best bang for your buck. So, what I've done, I've got my little laptop here, and I've spent the last several days um, choosing six, six of the um, most well-known welder generators, and we're going to talk about them, and we're going to compare them. Now, what I mean by welder generator, I'm talking about one like this, that's an open frame, uh, uh, generator that also welds. Um, I'm not talking about the big giant, um, you know, 250 amp up, uh, the ones like the Trailblazers, your Bobcats, um, the uh, Lincoln 200s, 300s, 350s, uh, the Hope Arch uh, Champion Elites. I consider those to be engine driven welders. Okay, those are the ones that's got big uh, twin engine or uh, twin cylinder engines, or they're diesels. They've got generators, you know, up around 10,000 uh, watts or, or higher. Uh, big giant box ones that, that once you get them bolted down, you're probably not going to move them again. I'm talking about the ones like this that have an open frame that just look like a typical generator. Okay, these are welder generators. So, uh, and I'm using this box right here to remind you that uh, this is what, August 4th, 2024. I'm gonna be giving away this welding machine September 1st, 2024. So you got a little bit more than three weeks. Go find my video about it, follow the instructions, and this could be yours for absolutely free. Something I want to do for y'all to thank you for watching my channel. But uh, so the ones I'm going to talk about are the Vulcan Outlaw 195, the Northern Tools Clutch 195, which is basically the same thing as the Outlaw, the uh, Hobart Champion 145, the Miller Blue Star 185. Now Miller uh, and Lincoln both have. I don't know, two or three different types of welder generators, but I've chosen the one that's, you know, the better of, of their options that they market uh, to, to uh, make all this kind of fair. Uh, so we've got the Blue Star 185, we've got the Lincoln Outback 185, and the Esau Ruffian 150G. All right, so let's talk about these. Um, I'm going to go over this real fast and at the end of the video I'm going to try to put this spreadsheet on the screen so that you can look at it. Um, if I don't get that done, it's not that I forgot, it's because I couldn't figure out how. I'm, I'm not the best you know, computer guy around, so bear, bear with me. Um, but uh, if, you, if you want this chart and I don't put it on the video, contact me, give me your email, and I'll just email it to you. Uh, so the welding range on the uh, Vulcan Outlaw 195 is 20 to 195 amps. Now why this is important, what the lower model is, because like the uh, Miller Blue Star is 60 to 195, or uh, one, yeah, 60 to 195. You can use these as a, as a power source for doing uh, uh, DC TIG. And, and if, if the output doesn't go down far enough, 
you know, you're going to be kind of stuck. What if you want to do 35, 40 amps on TIG and, and the lowest it'll go is 60? Okay. Uh, so the Northern Tools, the Vulcan and the Northern Tools clutch, they both go 20 to 195. The Hobart Champion 145 will go 40 to 145. The uh, Miller Blue Star 60 to 195. Lincoln Outback 50 to 185. And the Aesop Ruffian 20 to 150. So the one that goes down the most is the Outlaw, the Clutch, and the Aesop Ruffian. The one that goes down the least is the Miller Blue Star 185. All right, uh, idle control, that's when you're using the, uh, the generator side of the machine, you got something plugged in, uh, like your grinder, you pull the trigger, idle goes up, you use it, when you're done, you let go of the trigger and it idles back down. Uh, the ones that have that are the Vulcan, Outlaw, the Clutch, and the Hobart does not. Uh, the Miller, the Lincoln and the Aesop, I couldn't find in their manuals whether or not it does it or not. I think the Aesop does, but, but don't quote me on that. I'm not going to guarantee that. Um, Arc Force. Uh, Arc Force is a little extra power that you can get when you first strike your arc. It, it increases the amps, five or ten amps, so that you can start, you can easily start your arc, and then it goes back down. Uh, the ones that I know that have it are uh, the Outlaw, the Clutch, and the Ruffian. Um, I could not find any info. Oh no, the Miller Blue Star does not, and the Outback, the Lincoln Outback, does not. Um, welding and out outlet at the same time now where this is important is sometimes I'm out there welding but I've got my helper on an angle grinder cleaning up the wells as we go down All right um, with the Vulcan outlaw you can do it with the northern tools clutch you can do it the Hobart champion you can't uh, to to get the outlets going at full power you have to turn your max on your amperage on your stick welder all the way up. So if you're only using 60 amps, you can't do that and turn it all the way up for the outlets to work. That ain't gonna work. Um, the Esau Ruffian wheel, and again, the Blue Star, the Miller Blue Star, and the Lincoln Outback, I couldn't find any information whether or not they'll do it or not. Uh, generator size. Um, peak and running. The outlaw is 6,500 and 6,000. Uh, same with the clutch. Uh, the Hobart Champion is 4,500 and 4,000. The Miller Blue Star is 6,500 and 6,000. The Lincoln Outback is 5,700 and 5,200. And the Esau Ruffian is 4,500 to 4,000. So the, the, the ones that excel in that are the Outlaw, the Clutch, and the Blue Star. Okay. Uh, engine, horsepower, and brand. Um, they're all pretty much the same. They're either 13 or 14 horsepowers. Uh, the Outlaw's got a Predator. Northern Tools says LC. I don't know what brand that is. But it's, it's interesting when I was researching the Clutch on their main page, they'll say that it's uh, 14 horsepower, but in the specs, in the manual for it, it says 9.2. I don't know. Uh, the Hobart Champion has a 10 horsepower Briggs and Stratton, which I hate Briggs and Stratton, but you know, that's just me. Uh, the Miller has a 13 horse Kohler. 13.4 Kohler. The Lincoln Outback has the 14 horse Kohler. <coughs> and the Aesop Ruffian has the 14 horse Kohler. <coughs> Starting
starting method. Um, the Outlaw, the Miller Blue Star, and the Lincoln Outback are the only ones that have electric start. Uh, the Northern Tool Clutch, the Hobart, and the Aesop, you got to pull the string. Okay, recoil start only. Um, they all have four 120 volt 20 amp outlets and one 240 volt 30 amp outlet. Uh, some of them, like this one, uh, the Outlaw has a twist lock, but I'm going to convert that to the uh, 6-50 uh, outlet, which is what a, a normal 240 uh, volt uh, welder needs. Um, weight is close to the same. The, the lightest one is the uh, Champion Outlaw. I mean the Champion, the Hobart Champion at 222 pounds, but most of them are averaging around 300 pounds. Um, now here's here's where it gets interesting. This is the price. You don't have to believe this. The price uh, for the, the, the Vulcan Outlaw and the Northern Tool Clutch is $1,799. $1,799. Out of those two, the Outlaw beats the Clutch because it has electric start. Um, the Hobart Champion 145 MSRP $2,400. Uh, Miller Blue Star 185 $5,500. Jesus. Uh, the Lincoln Outback, 185, $5,500. And the Aesop Ruffian, $2,500. So your cheapest ones by far are the uh, Outlaw and the Clutch. And uh, they're $600 cheaper than the next closest one, which is the Hobart Champion, 145 which only goes to 145 amps. Um, most of the work that I do is 60 to 90 amps. Um, sometimes I will do 140 amps, but that's that's right at the cutoff for the um, Hobart. You know, uh, I don't I don't want to run a machine at max. That's just not good. Uh, other notes that I've noted. Um, the uh, Outlaw, the wheels are included and the covers included. Uh, same with the clutch. Um, the Ruffian, the wheels are included, but the cover is optional. Um, the uh, Hobart, the wheels are included, the cover is optional, but it doesn't have dense connectors. Um, the the Hobart, the Blue Star, and the Outback, they don't have these dense connectors. They have lugs that you have to bolt on your leads to. Um, the thing about that is you either have to leave your leads on all the time, or you can make a little pigtail that you you, know, you bolt on to the uh, um, uh, lead output and just have a dense connector at the end. That way you can take your uh, your leads off. Speaking of leads, the only one, the only two that include leads when you buy it brand new is the Vulcan Outlaw and the Northern Tool Clutch. All the others, you got to buy your own leads. That's going to cost you $250 right there. So, uh, going by this and you know, I'm not Project Farm or anything like that, but just just my opinions. The best one out here on this chart is the Vulcan Outlaw, um, and I rate that above the Clutch only because it's got electric start. And the Clutch doesn't. Uh, the Hobart Champion, it's okay. It's a good machine. Hobart's a good company. I'm not going to knock. I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna knock any of these. <coughs> They're all great machines. 
but the 145 is just a little too low. Uh, you're going to want something, you know, that goes up to at least 185 or 195. Uh, the next one I would choose would be the Lincoln Outback or the Miller Blue Star. Uh, to me, the Aesop Ruffian is just, you know, the same as the Hobart Champion. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference in that at all. They both got the same size generator. They're both pretty much the same on the amperage. Um, the ESOB is a little bit better than the Hobart because it does have arc force. Um, and you can weld and use the outlets at the same time. So if I was going to spend the money and I was looking to buy a uh, new welder generator for my up and coming growing business, Number one, I would go with the Vulcan Outlaw. Number two, I would go with the Northern Tool Clutch because they're basically the same. Number three, I would go with the, um, the, the Miller Blue Star and then the Lincoln Outback. So that's, that's my winning order right there. Vulcan Outlaw, the Clutch, Miller Blue Star, Lincoln Outback. Those are the top four. So I hope this helped and uh, stay tuned to this video because I'm going to see if I can get this chart onto my video. <coughs> and again, if, if you don't see the chart, just email me and uh, I'll, I'll send it to you so you can see it. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps some of you and uh, um, you know, uh, when you're going out buying your very first machine you don't have to spend ten thousand dollars on a big giant 400 amp 15,000 watt generator engine driven generator this diesel and you know you don't need that if you're gonna just be going out repairing utility trailers and 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 making handrails you don't need that that's it that's a waste of money Take that money and go put it in some other equipment for your new business. But anyway, this is Jason. Thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure you find the video for the giveaway for this. you got about three weeks. We're going to give it away September 1st, 2024 to one lucky winner. And uh, we're going to do a random drawing. And this is yours. But have a good day.